Hi, my name is Bruce Wade. And today we want to answer the question that's come through our network is how do you charge for your products as an MPO? So an MPO, you've created this little sideline where you've now got products on offer. How do you then set the price? Where does that work? Now, if you're inexperienced in setting prices, it can be a little daunting and a little overwhelming. So let me give you three different guidelines that you could use and maybe that'll help you get to the right answer. So the first model that you can use for your pricing is a pure markup. You can take work out what it costs you to create, manufacture, cook, bake, assemble your product. And then you can just add a markup percentage on top of that and then you can sell. Just remember is that working out the cost of that, remember the labor and the time and the those hidden things like electricity and storage and packaging and labels. Make sure you get a comprehensive uh, calculation and then you can work out a markup. So typically a markup could be around 30% for a kind of a home craft type product but it can be as much as 200% for a more advanced, more high-end type of product. So that's your first one, you can do markup. The second one is you can look at what other people are charging, a comparison model. So you would take your product and you would go kind of look around and see what other people are charging for the same or a similar project in your area, and then you would price it accordingly. You can kind of look at theirs and look at yours and go, mm, okay, maybe mine should be a little higher or it's not as good as that one. And you can compare the prices and price them accordingly to that. So you don't want people sitting there saying, oh, I can get that same thing over there cheaper and no one comes and buys from you. The third one then is a little hard and often relates to the services. Simple is that you've got to price it for what it's worth. Now, it's a little harder to compute because there's no spreadsheet for that. But you've got to look at what the value and the added value that your product or service gives the client. So it's almost saying to a client, well, what's it worth to you? And then work out a price according to that. It's a little trickier and it often hit and miss because it might be worth a lot more to somebody and a lot less to somebody else. But working out that, you will eventually get the hang of it. It's always good to do a little test run and you can always put it into the market and then offer a launch discount and then you can see how people are going to react to that price. But ultimately, the good price is a price that you feel confident at and that you're happy to sell at and then people are happy to pay. Then you know that you've got a good price point. You don't want to go in too low with a mindset of, oh, we're a nonprofit organizer, we don't want to charge it. People want to pay the price that a product is worth. Paying less for a product means that you're degrading the quality of your product and insulting your clients. Hope that helps. Uh, if you've got any other options around this one, please let us know and we're happy to engage with you. And if you've got any other questions about how to run a business through an MPO, then please send us a message right here on the, on the Facebook page. Thanks.